He's going to oh, flip well. me a shrimp and I'm going to sprain my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They're not going to have a big Sapporo. They're not going to laugh. They want the gluten-free rice. <laughs> WST Podcast, we're back with a teaser on everyone's favorite group birthday spot, Benihana. Benihana is just, it's not just a birthday spot. I compare Benihana to golf, a foursome. Really? Because you're going to spend a lot of time with his people. you got to like the people you're playing golf with. you got to like the people you're going to Benihana with. Absolutely. You know what they say about golf? It's where you're playing, it's how you're playing, and who it's who you're playing with. And the first two don't matter. Very much in, in Benihana. You could be at any ben- Benihana they could have the most phenomenal ingredients. But if you're not with a fun group of people, it's going to suck. And if there's more than eight people, there's got to be two tables. Oh, yes. Kind of like, uh, you know, at a wedding, you have a group of Ooh. ten people. And you're like, oh, shoot. You walk in and you're like, oh, man, there's six-person tables. We're going to divide it up. Or even worse, yeah. like you're saying, there's eight. So you know there's going to be two outliers. So if you're the two outliers, you're sitting with Aunt Meldra and Uncle Tom talking about their dogs. Yeah. For two hours. And then, like at a wedding at Benihana, I just go to the bar and hang out. Yeah, exactly. There's hey, I'll be right fun. back. I'll be right back. <laughs> Let's see what action's going on at the bar. My Sapporo's gone. <laughs> Who wants sake? Actually, can you bring my shrimp fried rice to the bar? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done sake bombs? I, might be, I haven't done that level. I haven't done that level either. No, I, next time I'm in the bay, I'm going to invite you down. Come on down to Berlin Game. Out. We'll do some sake bombs. No talkie, drink sake. <laughs> no talkie, drink sake. We'll get one of those little uh, those headbands. Yeah, we'll say it's your birthday. Yeah. It's like you can oh, sing to you. Yes, absolutely. Do they sing? Yeah. I'm trying to think. What's your favorite trick? So I um, I, I, I know the flaming onion. Yeah. That's, and then they have the, uh, the egg. They flip up and do the little thing. I like when they put the rice in a heart and they make the heartbeat. Really? I haven't seen that one. It's a good one. I guess you're going to have to ask for that. Yeah. What if you, do you have a frequent visitor card? No, I should. I wish there was VIP points. Would you be a VIP? Absolutely. How often do you go to Benihana? I mean, I'm in the Bay quite a bit, like once, maybe twice, twice a month. So when the food comes out, what kind of guest are you? Do you pick at it? No, do I'm Do you a, save it to the end? I'm a big guy, like, I'll, I'll wait for the entire meal to come out. Okay. You know how they do the rice first, and then But then your eat. rice gets cold. No, you, you, it doesn't get cold, because it's rice, it's like congealed, it's all, it's all warming each other. So I wait for the entire meal to come out, and then I'm a guy that likes to combine things. So I'll, I'll combine the little rice with the meat, with the vegetables, mix for a sauce. Do you put the sauce in there? Always put the sauce. Yes, absolutely. Okay. What sauce is, at, at any one point in time, what sauce has made a food worse? Never. Ever. Yeah. Sauces make the world go round. <laughs> Imagine if there are some sauces. Didn't, like, Mac-10 and, was it, Gangsters make the world go round? Are we going to come out with a remix? Yes. Sauces make the world Honey go around. Honey barbecue makes the world go around. <laughs> I mean, the more sauces, the better. Do you see that thing where, like, they had a pallet? You can get, like, 12 sauces now at McDonald's. They had a pallet. Oh, love sauces. Now, yes. do, you, do you do the full cycle? Define the full cycle. Like a single, double, triple home run? Like shrimp appetizer, fried rice, oh, salad, absolutely. soup. Absolutely. Ice cream? Yes. Do you take a Polaroid at the end? Yeah. <laughs> That's the full cycle. Is you get the Polaroid? <laughs> you get the Polaroid at the end. Is that like at the local Mexican restaurant where everyone goes for their birthday, puts a sombrero, and then writes their name at the bottom? Exactly. And it stays there until like the the uh, thumbtack falls out or something <laughs> like that. Benihana is an experience. So let's summarize. Go with a good contingent. I'd say either four or eight. Yeah. Don't go with more than eight. Don't go with more than eight, and then don't go if you're gonna go with. More than four, don't go with. I would say don't go with less than eight. You got to go yeah. four or eight. I agree. Or else you're potentially getting some duds that sit with you yeah. that aren't engaged. They're not getting the full meal, so you sit there. They sit there and stare at you while you eat. That's awkward. Talk to the chef, or just go to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Pull a Kyle. That's WSC Sports. Benny Hanna teaser. We'll wrap this up. Uh, look for more teasers out there. We got some good ones coming up about etiquette. We got to talk airport etiquette. I definitely agree. I've been doing too much traveling there. It just pisses me off these days. Well, we'll let you vent. I'm going to ask this. Why is the pre-TSA check line 
longer than the, the, the standard line now. It's makes no sense. Wrapping up WST Podcast. At WST underscore podcast on both Twitter and Instagram. Engage, follow, and comment. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. <laughs>